This is a step by step tutorial on how to make $50 daily trading spot on Bybit. So first off, as you all know, when it comes to trading spots on Bybit, the fundamental aim there is to buy low and sell high. So always have a clue that it all lies on buy low and sell high. So you can literally have a clue of what you are doing. So in this particular video, I'm going to have to walk you through on how to effectively know when to buy low and when to probably sell high. That way, you would be able to make at least $50 daily consistently simply by trading spots on Bybit. So if that sounds interesting to you and you literally want to know how to go about all of this, do smash the like button for me and sub up to the channel if you haven't already so you wouldn't miss our subsequent videos so without further ado let's dive right straight into the video real quick so first thing first as you can see on your screen a lot of traders like you are making crazy gains simply by knowing when to buy low and when to probably sell high as you can see right here a lot of people are probably making at about 43% in the last 24 hours. Some are making like 27%, 24%, 20%, 18% and so on and so forth. So it all lies on knowing when to probably get in to a particular coin at a more affordable price. So that when it appreciates, your portfolio might have already been smiling to the bank so that's the more reason like i told you i'm going to have to walk you through on how to effectively use a particular strategy to know when to get in low and when to probably sell at a much higher price so let's probably get down real quick to the main deal of the day so first off in order to effectively know when to get in and when to probably take out some profit we will need to first of all choose a particular cryptocurrency that we intend to use in doing all of those and to be able to choose it you probably have to be heading over to this sports trading section right here like the sports icon there right at the bottom right corner there and thereafter you click on this cryptocurrency icon right at the top left corner there that cryptocurrency icon there click on it and the moment you click on it it is going to probably bring you to this page which consists of the favorite coins the sports the perpetual the futures the options margin and arbitrage but you have to probably be on sports because we are going to have to be doing everything for the cost of this video based off of the sports trading section because that is probably the main aim of this particular video and right on the sports section here you have the usdt you have the usdc you have varieties of quote currency so the initial one that majority of the traders know more about is the usdt okay but you can still use the usdc as your predominant quote currency based on the particular cryptocurrency like the particular quote currency you currently have on your sports wallet because for the matter of fact you can still use your btc your ethereum as your initial quote currency based off of the particular one you have on your sports wallet so if you have usdt on your sports wallet you are going to probably choose coins from that section there so for the cost of this video i'm going to be choosing a particular coin from the usdt section because initially i have usdt on my sports wallet as my predominant quote currency so if you probably have btc you can literally still choose coins from that section there and then use your btc or your ethereum as your predominant you know quote currency so for the aspect of this video like i told you 
we are going to be doing everything based off of the USDT because it tends to be more straightforward compared to other code currency okay and for the matter of fact under the USDT we have varieties of ecosystem under the USDT the first one there is the new coins under the USDT the second one there is the trending coins the third one there is the zero fee adventure zone solana ecosystem ethereum ecosystem and the likes so if you want to be more specific you can go for any of your preferable ecosystem because for the matter of fact there are some ecosystem that can perform dramatically well compared to the other one but i'm going to be using the all section here because we intend to be more complex compared to be more specific so that's the more reason i'm going to be choosing this particular coin from this section here so we should be able to use it to identify when to get in low and then be expecting some profit so that's the more reason i'm going to be going for this particular one called SEI. let us use it to identify when to probably get in low and be selling at a much higher price and keep in mind there is no an objective reason for choosing these coins the choice of these coins are probably very subjective so it all lies on whichever one you intend to use but for me i do watch out for the volume make sure that the volume is significantly high from like 1 million and above so it can clearly signify that there is liquidity there and a lot of people are actually interacting within the coin okay so that's the more reason i'm going to be clicking on that real quick there so we should be able to use it to identify when to get in low and when to probably be expecting some profits so right here on the coin all you will need to do first of all is to click on this little icon this icon that looks like candlesticks click on it there and it is going to probably bring you to this page all you will need to do is to click on chat real quick there let's go on to the chat section there so in order to now identify when to probably get in low and when to be expecting some profit we will need to make sure that we make some confirmation using some simple strategy in respect to be knowing when to get in and when to be taking out some profits okay so that's the more reason i'm going to be heading over to this particular application called trading view because we need to use it to identify using a very simple technical strategy to know when to probably get in and when to be expecting some profits okay and that's the more reason i'm going to be heading over to the one week time frame here and then I'll probably have to make some confirmation in respect to be knowing when to get in and when to be taking out some profits. So obviously, as you can see, this zone previously wasn't mitigated. Okay, this is very simple. This zone right here wasn't mitigated and it was all left behind. So what will happen is that the market is going to have to use that zone as a present support because when we add that first move there we had a retracement and a break above the previous eye which created another eye so a lot of people might have placed in their buy limit order around this zone hoping that the market is going to come on there to tap in to mitigate their buy limit order but rather the market out to go up and left that liquidity there so what will happen is that the market is going to surely come down here to take out that liquidity and make a little rejection out of that zone okay because that zone wasn't used in the past okay so what we are going to be doing as a spot trader is to place in our buy limit order between this 31 cents and 25 cents zone because surely the market is going to tap in there 
to probably make some rejection and by so doing your portfolio might have already been smiling to the bank so i'm going to have to now implement that confirmation because right after making the confirmation your obligation is to implement it as you know as it is shown there so what we are going to be doing now is to use this particular limit order okay because there are varieties of orders that you can use but the predominant one that majority of the traders uses out there is the limit order because it tends to be more straightforward and it tends to like give you give you like an opportunity to like place in either your buy limit order or your sell limit order at your preferable price so you can get to know what to expect exactly so at this zone we are going to have to place in a buy limit order there at 34 okay the buy limit order is going to be at about 30 44 or 30 16 around that zone there so i'm going to come here and place in at 30 16 and then you put in your quantity and then you click on tp slash sl okay the TP slash SL is going to let you place a sell limit order so that when there is any rejection out of that zone, you would have already be making some profits there. And the rejection is going to probably happen a little bit around that, that zone. Okay. The rejection usually happens a little bit above that zone there okay so the sell limit order is going to be at about 40 40 59 like 37 percent or there about that so come on here and put it at 0 0.4059 okay and you'll be getting to realize that you are going to be making like 200 or 300 dollar there okay so after doing that don't worry about the stop loss that's the more reason you need to like use the money that you can afford to lose like your spay money because sport trading all lies on knowing when to get in okay because i know for sure that this particular zone is going to probably get rejected so there will surely be some rejection out of that zone when the market aid towards there so by so doing i'm going to have to click on confirm there and then i will click on buy okay allow everything to be there because the algorithm is going to do everything for you all you will need to do is to relax and allow the trade to play out because surely there will be some rejection out of that zone when it's head towards that that zone there so in the meantime, I think that'll be all for now. Then I'll probably catch you up in my next section. Bye for now.